my beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, the hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, أَلَا وَإِنَّ فِي الْجَسَدِ لَمُبْغَةِ إِذَا صَلَحَتْ صَلَحَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّهُ وَإِذَا فَسَدَتْ فَسَدَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّهُ أَلَا وَهِيَ الْقَلْبُ Behold, in the body there is a piece of flesh. If it is good and pure, the whole body will be good and pure. And if it is dirty and filthy or filled with disease, the whole body will be dirty, filthy, and filled with disease. My brothers and sisters, we work very hard to improve our salah. We work very hard to improve the tilawa of the Quran, and we should be working. We work very hard to give our zakah, to earn and to donate in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We work very hard to try and improve our dress which is very important. We work extremely hard to try and prevent ourselves from adultery, from that which will displease Allah, from that which is intoxicating, and so many other outward sins. But there is something that sometimes we take for granted, and those are the internal sins, the sins of the heart. The sins of the heart primarily include when it comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, indeed, it is the hidden sin that is within a person that no one can notice and no one can see. But there are sins that are committed against one another that happen to be within the heart, primarily that of jealousy, that of pride, that of the feeling that one is greater than everyone else or than someone else. These are diseases that stem from shaitan. If you see the original sin committed by shaitan, it was that of jealousy, pride, and haughtiness. When Adam alayhi salam was raised in status, he asked the question, why him? Why not me? Thereafter, he denied the virtue that Allah blessed Adam alayhi salam with, and he started working against him due to the jealousy. Number one, he disobeyed Allah's command. Number two, he began to make it his business to ensure the downfall of Adam alayhi salam. And this was the job he occupied himself with so much so that after that he did not obey Allah in anything. May Allah protect us. So a very small interesting factor, myself as well as all of us, we need to make sure that we become more conscious of the condition of our hearts. We should love others. We should love what Allah has given them. We, sh we can ask Allah to bless us as well, but never by taking what Allah gave them away. We should also have something known as husnul dhan, which people are lacking today. Our ulama used to speak about having a good feeling when you see something happening. When you see someone, for example, walking, you should think good of that person when they have said something. And there are 10 ways of interpreting what they have said. You and I need to interpret it in the best possible way and his or her hisab will be with Allah. If they were trying to cheat you or cheat anyone else, it's between them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So to have a good feeling in the heart will purify the heart. This is why the hadith says that piece of flesh if it is good and pure, the entire body will be good and pure. You will enjoy your salah. You will enjoy giving what you have given in charity. I'm not giving it for everyone to look at me and say, what a rich person, how much he has given and so on. If they say it on their own without me having tried to impress them, that is something that's unavoidable sometimes. But if I was trying to impress them, then I've lost it. I need to impress Allah. May Allah make it easy for all of us. May Allah make it easy for us to purify the heart, to instill love in the ummah. Today, there are so many challenges we are facing. We need to close 1000 different loopholes. At least this is one important one that we can work on so that Allah can grant us taraqqi and goodness so that when we speak, when we interact with people, automatically this high level of interaction with Allah and connection with Allah can be felt 
just by talking. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all goodness and protect us from the ills of the dunya. For indeed, there are so many and they are plentiful. Our children, our grandchildren, may Allah keep them steadfast on the deen and the generations to come. My beloved brothers and sisters, if you want to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you need to clean your heart. You need to have a pure heart on the day of judgment. No one else will be saved except those who are having the pure heart. إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهُ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ The one who will have the consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the ones who will have the pure heart. So in this dunya, when you see someone else is doing better than you or someone else has more money than you or they are more successful than you or they are more educated than you, then don't feel sad, don't feel jealous, don't feel envious. Better ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make you wealthy, happy and successful. Don't ask for them to lose everything. Rather, ask goodness and increase for them and ask also goodness and increase for yourself. Try to be a nice person. Be happy when others are happy. Don't be sad at someone else and don't be sad at yourself. Just work hard. Give every effort that you can give and make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continuously. Allah will shower mercy and blessings in your life. Allah will give you. Allah will make you happy. Allah will make things easy for you. So don't be scared to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the things you want, for the things you like. And don't be negative. Always be positive. Thank Allah. Do Shukur to Allah, be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and don't hold grudge against one another. Forgive people. If someone hurt you, then forgive them. When you forgive others, you sleep well. And if you hurt someone, then go and ask forgiveness from them. That's how you will have a pure heart. And whenever you do mistakes, whenever you sin, just turn towards Allah and ask Allah for forgiveness. Do repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Cry to Allah. Beg to Allah. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you and Allah will give you a pure heart. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description.